Hello and welcome to Lightworks. This is part one of a three-part series on the new color correction modules we've added to Lightworks. Those two presets, color correction gradient blend one, color correction and corner gradient blend two. These modules provide the user a way to achieve interesting color correction looks by blending the picture via a composite blend mode with a gradient layer. First of all, let's have a quick look at gradients. Here is a gradient I've applied to the clip by using the Add Mats Color Gradient. On the second clip, I've used what's called a corner gradient. Here's the corner gradient. It's made up of four gradient zones in each corner. Let's have a look at the setup for each of these two gradients. First of all, the standard gradient. So on the gradient settings, you've got three types of gradient. The radial gradient, which we're looking at, top to bottom, and left to right. So you can see it's made up two color zones. You control the luminosity and color of each zone of the gradient by using these two sliders here, and also this color picker on each. The extent, or the range, covered by each of the zones is controlled by these sliders here. Here's the range of the white, and here's the range of the black. No black, full black range. Change the black extent again. No black, full black range. If you click on the color square here, you can control the zone's color. You have the RGB values here, working on the white, go to blue, pull out the greens, pull out the blues, and you'll notice you also have a color wheel as well, where you can select these values. The hue, saturation and value fields, the hue and the saturation fields will change as you move the color wheel. If you'd like to adjust the value of that color to its full setting, we can go right back to a darker setting. So if I bring that up again, that would reset it. And at the bottom, you have the transparency, the alpha value for that color. No transparency. As I pull away, you can see the pictures revealed underneath. So no transparency with the alpha set to 255. Let's have a look at the settings for the corner gradient. The corner gradient is slightly different. We don't have the option to choose the gradient type. However, we can choose the color at the top left, top right, the bottom left, and the bottom right. We also have coordinate bounds for each of those zones. If I move the left hand zone, It works a bit like a crop. There's the left, the bottom, the right, and the top. While we're doing that, still notice, still got the four colours, yellow, red, blue, and cyan, in each zone of this region. Again, you can access the color settings and change the values of the regions. Working on the yellow, top left, I can move that to pink or across to green or over to blue and so forth. Again, we have values. And transparency. I pull away the transparency on the top left, top left corner of the picture is revealed underneath. So how's that useful to us? Here I've got a picture of a drummer shot by an ARRI camera. Now, you don't need to know what an ARRI camera is, however the quality of this picture means that it's very flat as far as its exposure is concerned 
allowing for lots of interesting colour correction to be applied afterwards. The picture contains lots of dynamic information, but as we look at it in its raw state, it's very flat. Let's get going and apply one of the new composite colour correction blend mode effects to it. If I just open my effects palette, I'm going to apply, first of all, colour correction and gradient blend 1. Let's just collapse these down so we can see the three elements of the new correction presets. The first layer is our standard colour correction. The second layer is a blend effect. And the third layer is the gradient. Now our picture of the drummer can have colour correction applied to it and will be blended through these settings here, through these blend modes, with the pixels contained in the gradient layer. Now if you want to find out more about blend modes, you can find it on the link that's on the screen. Blend modes take two pixels and perform a function on them. They can add their values together, they can subtract their values together, they can multiply them, they can screen each other, they can be overlaid, they can react with soft or hard lighting, they can lighten each other, darken, the result could be the difference, or could be based on the luminosity, or dodge or burn values. You'll probably find a handful of your favourite ones to use in here. What we want to do is blend our drummer with a gradient via these blend modes here in this module. The combination of these three modules is very powerful and can achieve all sorts of different results, of very subtle results to extreme looks. Let's put a stylized look together. With our shot of the drummer, I'd like to achieve this end result. We've got a darkened border eating into the picture. It's not like a vignette, although it does have the shape of a vignette, where the blacks eat into the picture is controlled by the radial gradient. Notice how some of the areas of the picture are being picked out and the black is eating into the colours in different ways. In the centre of the picture, I've tinted the image slightly, controlled the saturation and lifted different regions of the highlights, the shadows and the mid-tones. So let's get on and put that together. First of all, I'm going to add a new blend effect. Right click, add, colour correction, gradient blend 1. Set the blend mode to burn. Suddenly the saturation in the picture has been increased in reaction to the white area at the centre of the gradient where the pixels are burnt together in the processing. Let's open up the image range. Let's close down the extent of the black area of the gradient in colour 2. As I back away from this, the whole picture opens up. I'm going to set that about there. Quick check on the extent of colour 1. There it is coming through. I'm going to keep that about there. The next thing we're going to have a look at is the colour correction layer. First thing I want to do, pull out the saturation on the picture, focus on the contrast of the blacks and the white areas. You could do with a touch more contrast. Touch more brightness. And some gain. I'm going to push the gain quite hard to really lift out the white areas. Next, let's inject the colour back to the picture to about there, keeping it nice and richly saturated. Over to the colour wheels, I'm just going to lift up the highlights with this slider here. Just a touch to about there. And the mid-tones, I'm going to warm up the mid-tones, pushing to about there. I'm going to leave those colour wheel settings as they are to the RGB tab. I'm just going to lift up the red gamma. Just push some more general warmth into the picture. Lift up the green. And on the red gain, I'm going to push that up a bit as well. Okay, that's alright for there. To the hue saturation value tab. I just want to pull back on the saturation level here. And go right back. Just want to take out a touch. And on the scale, I'm going to back off again 
bring it back in. To about there. I'm going to back off on a value as well. So we can go right back, just lift that back up. About the same amount. Next thing I'm going to do, jump to the curves tab. Go to the blue channel. Just pull down the top point. As I do that, pull the blue out of the highlights, it tints the picture with more yellow. I'm just going to take a touch off the top into the luminance tab. I'm going to put a midpoint in and just lift up the mid range of the picture. So that's completed to look nicely. Remember to experiment with all these values as there's many different combinations and a huge variety of different looks can be achieved with their simple three modules. In the next part of this tutorial we'll have a look at working on a different effect. We hope that's helpful and you enjoy the new presets. Don't forget to save them as a template and build up your library of colour looks. Thanks for watching.